Yo, what's up guys? So 1.1 should be coming out today. I'm going to be streaming all day on my twitch.tv forward slash techtone. I'm going to try to do about five giveaways for Silver Wolf because now that I've gone completely free to play, it feels very good for me to be able to give the money that I would have spent on my account to my community, then go on their account, do some summons, make a video out of it. Very symbiotic. It's very good. And I love making people happy and being able to give people a unit or some money makes me feel very good. And uh, it's what I enjoy doing. So that's what I'm going to be doing today at twitch.tv forward slash techtone. And if you see this video, I'll probably be live in about maybe three or four hours. But, you know, you can go check the link in the pinned comment or the description. Click it, press follow, and then a little bloop will pop up whenever I go uh, live. It doesn't cost you anything. It's completely free. And, uh, yeah, I'm trying to give away five silver wolves to my chat whenever uh, 1.1 goes live. I'm very excited. And I'll be opening up this thing, which is a $3,000 gut statue, one-fourth scale replica of guts from Berserk which I'm stoked about and also playing uh, Diablo 4 with my buddies here. But I kind of wanted to talk about what I have going on for 1.1 because I'm free to play now and uh, part of the little image there, I was playing a little bit of poker with my buddies here. But yeah, I want to talk about my plans for 1.1, what I'm doing, uh, the characters I'm building and what do I expect out of 1.1. Well, number one, let's address the elephant in the room. I'm expecting a lot of primo gen. Oh my God. I'm expecting a lot of stellar jades. Oh Jesus Christ, bro. Genshin Impact still on my veins, bro. I played that game for two years, dog. It ain't going away anytime soon. Uh, I got five pulls. I got 2,900 Stellar Jades as of time of 1.0 ending, which I think was an incredible launch event for Honkai Star Rail. I'm expecting to end 1.1 uh, with about 8K of the Stellar Jades, plus as many tickets, probably like 15 or 20 tickets. And uh, I'm going to continue dumping all of my regular tickets uh, into this banner. Here's how much pity i have built up till my next five tar guarantee we have 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 48 on the standard banner and then i also have let's see here real quick 5 10 15 20 25 28 on the premium banner. Yes, I am saving until 1.2 with all of my jades uh, to get Kafka because I feel like Kafka's banner is going to be OP. I'm expecting Luca and Sampo to be on Kafka's banner and hopefully maybe an Arlong because I don't have him. I would love to get him and to goof around with him and hopefully just have a banner with a whole bunch of units that I don't have. At least two will be amazing. That way, 66% of the time when I hit the 50-50, I get a new unit and hopefully they're quite powerful. And I think Sampo and Luca will be dramatically stronger if I have a Kafka of which I am going to it attempt to get an E1. That's right. I'm not going to stop if I get one Kafka. I'm going to keep going and hope I double hit because I think an E1 Kafka would be hilarious because I think I will be using her until the end of time. And then eventually they'll probably make a character that allows dots to crit. Uh, but if they ever power, if they ever power creep Kafka, well, they can't power creep the sexiest character in the entire game. And from what I've seen so far, there's no character that even comes close to how beautiful that character is. So those are currently my plans for 1.1. I'm saving all of my gems uh, or I'm saving all of my jades but i will be dumping all of my pulls into the standard banner now next thing that i'm planning on doing is i am most likely going to be able to hit trailblazer level 60 and be able to max out my characters to level 80 of which i am planning on 80ing my zila and 80ing my yang Zheng. completing both of them will be very good i want to take um their traces i think i will take them to level eight i'm also going to bump that up real quick get that to level four i want to get almost every single perk i think they are all worth getting these ones are a little bit pain it sucks because i don't want the hp one at all but they're putting in the middle to where i kind of have to i will eventually work towards this ice damage this ice damage this attack so on so forth because ice damage is so huge same thing with zila getting 10.7 percent additional crit damage is insane they're making me get this defense point which is really irritating but i will be taking my zila to make them as strong as possible because i do believe my zila and my yang jing are quite strong uh, my plan as well is to get yang jing to probably about 25 to 23% crit rate and max up my crit damage as high as possible. I'm very happy with my sword play artifact or my uh, light cone. I'm also very happy with my cruising in the stellar sea light cone. Very happy. I don't see myself replacing this ever. Same thing with sword play on Yang Jing. I do, however, plan on getting, uh, let me find it very quickly. I do plan on buying the Baronia light cone. 
I like this one a lot. I am planning on buying this one whenever I get there. I'm about 148 off. I think I'll be able to do it the next time I do a very big summon session, and that will be enormous for my account. I'm also really hoping to get a Ting Yun. Will it happen? Probably not, but that is what I'm hoping to get off the standard banner. I want her so bad, it's ridiculous. Once I get the light cone for Bronya, I'm thinking I put past and future on my, oh my God the blue hair fox girl oh yukong i think this will probably be good on her surely it'll function right surely it'll function surely it will surely it will but yeah that is my game plan maybe it's terrible on her i'll find out when that day comes i'm very happy with this light cone in particular we just trend to the universal market i think this i feel like this light cone is actually a little bit slept on i've never been in a scenario where i needed my main character to be tankier so i actually like this light cone quite a bit because it helps me push out damage at the same time but uh, feel free to tell me why I'm wrong in the comments. But I feel like trend of the universal market is actually quite good. I do need to level this up quite a bit though, because I do like having the extra defense on my shields. But uh, this gives me increased defense, which is nice. Uh, and the burn I feel like is very good as well. It puts a dot on there, which will also have a further synergy with Kafka. And pretty much my entire account is gearing up for Kafka. I'm also very happy with my light cone, perfect timing on my Natasha. I'm very happy that I'm not going to change anything. The seriousness of breakfast is very, very, very good. I love this one very much. I'm not too pleased with my light cone on my Sushang, but it does help with crit rate. And I feel like with the characters that are newer, like for, for free to place, it's very hard to hit the proper scaling with crit rate and crit damage. Even with an additional 18% crit, I'm still only sitting at 48, 67.6, which is really not that good. So any light cone or any advantage I can get to having additional crit rate, I am going to take. And unfortunately, Sushang has no perks where it increases her crit rate at all. So it is actually quite difficult. I'm also going to be building the out of my Asta uh, because I think she's an incredible unit. I, I, I do truly believe that. And with the light cone I have on her, dance, 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 like this is such an incredible uh, light cone on her. You, you know, it makes everybody go so goddamn fast. The amount of turn cycling you get is absolutely ridiculous. I feel like Asta is incredible. Anytime there's ever a boss with fire weakness, she absolutely trivializes the entire fight. Now, if it doesn't have fire weakness, she's not going to be good. But then again, when are you going to bring a unit that isn't going to be effective towards the boss whenever possible, right? If this, this this beats any boss that has a fire weakness. Any. By herself. By her self. She is so goddamn good. It's ridiculous. And I really hate how slept on she is. Same thing with March 7th. I feel like March 7th is so goddamn good. Everybody's telling me, get well, get well, get well. Or sorry, not get well. Get, get. Geppard. I'm happy with the four stars I have. I really am. I, I really don't struggle at that many areas of the game. Uh, my memory of chaos is going pretty damn good. I can get to five and six pretty dang consistently. Would I like to beat the whole thing? Yeah, but like I'm not in any rush until if, if I struggle once I get all my characters to 80, yes, I will be worried. But right now getting to five, six where I'm at, I feel very good about it. I do. I genuinely feel very good about it. I can probably, let's see, can I crush four? Yeah, I'll be able to desk made four. I'll get to five once more. I'll probably be able to beat five as well, and maybe I'll squeak out a six as well. I won't three-star, but I'm sure I can probably beat it. Am I going to build Don Hung? I don't believe so. And the reason why that is, is because I'm going to get Sampo. And I think Sampo completely fills the role of Don Hung uh, with my Kafka. I don't want to pull a blade, but if I do need a single target damage dealer for when I will build Don Hung, but I'd rather not. I'd rather just go Sampo, do some goofy ass break shit with his dots. I feel like that'll be a lot of fun. And I already have my two carries built with Zila and Yang Jing, and I even built a Su Shang for fun just because it's not the most optimal thing I could have done, but just because she's cute. Okay. And I like using her. I think it's very funny. Her saying rise penis is about the funniest thing I've ever seen. I will also be building my Pela. And the reason why that is not because I want to, but because I got very, very, very lucky and I have a E4 Pela. And I feel like if I were to not build my Pela with all of these E4s, I would be spitting in the face of the RNG gods that gave me so many copies of what I consider to be a very good unit. And I think that should be good at speeding things up. And like anytime there's a stage with Ice Wingness, which by the way, in the memory of chaos, there's quite a lot. I feel like I'm going to have to build her and I think I'll enjoy it. I'm also greatly debating building a Herda. I have her at E4. I have no follow-up synergy. I think it would be very fun for the follow-up attack synergy in Simulated Universe. Not to mention the Kudu Kudu thing is very, very, very cute if I were to play in JP. And I think I'm also going to build a hook. I, I don't think I want to build a Don Hung. I don't believe I want to build a Xing Chue. At least not yet. But I will build a hook as well because I did, as of today, get another copy. I have a hook at E3. Which makes me very happy because I'm getting Eidolons very quickly. And the whole mentality that I'm preaching, which is build the units that you have and an E6 will be 
stronger than an E05 star is I'm getting closer and closer to the reality of I don't need five stars. I have the E64 star version of that unit so I can be happy with what I got, right? Like, so for example, I have an E5 main character, E6 Natasha, E1 Bronya. I have, oh man, I really wish I had E1 Sushang. That'd be so good. I have an E3 Asta, E2 March 7th, E4 Pela, a E4 Herda, and a E3 Hook. I feel like I have to build the characters that I got the Eidolons for. I think that'll greatly benefit my account, and I think I'm gonna have a damn good time doing that. Furthermore, that is what I plan on doing for Memory of Chaos, Simulated Universe, building up these characters, saving all of my jades. But the other thing that I'm thinking about doing is I think I'm going to start working on account reviews again. I really enjoy doing that type of content. I think it's very, very, very fun. I like a, a way to give back to the subscribers of my YouTube channel, as well as the followers of my Twitch channel. Go on their account, fix up their stuff. I feel like we're in a spot now where people who have played a lot do have things that I can change and fix. I went on my buddy's LaRose account for about 15 minutes and I took him from Memory of Chaos 1 to Memory of Chaos 4 with just a couple of changes. So I know I'm very good at the game, right? I am very good at turn-based RPGs. I understand how accounts work. I understand what units need. I play this game so goddamn much and I think it would be fun to goof around on others' accounts. So I do feel like I'm going to bring back account reviews as well as I am going to continue reacting to content because I feel now more so than ever, there are very good content creators for Honkai Star Rail and there are also a lot of content creators for Honkai Star Rail that have not yet been discovered. I am trying to plug uh, as many channels as I possibly can because it is hard to be discovered uh, in the YouTube category. Not to say that, you know, reacting isn't lazy content. I do believe that it is. Uh, I'm not trying to steal everybody's content, but I do feel like I add as much as I possibly can into it and I try to make it fun for everyone and uh, I make sure I only react to people who want to be reacted to and if they don't want me to react to their content, if all they have to do is let me know, leave a comment, please take this down and I will immediately. No drama, no problem. I get it. I am trying to help people out. I'm also trying to have some fun and my chat loves when I react to things and I'm glad that I'm fortunate enough where people like my reactions to things. It means a lot. I do want to let everybody know as well. I am also very proud because I've given over $35,000 to the Honkai Star Rail community in the form of giveaways. There was even a guy who bought a car with the giveaway that he won because I was doing a massive giveaway and I'm very proud of that. And if you include sponsored giveaways, well then I've given over $47,000, which I'm very happy about. How am I able to do that? Well, that's because you guys subscribe to my channel. You like my videos, you subscribe to me on Twitch and you follow me on Twitch. Uh, and I'm very fortunate that I'm in a position where I can give back that much because uh, I know back in the day for me, a hundred dollars could have changed my life. And uh, I've given away a hundred dollars. Well, a lot of times, and I plan on doing that as well when I go live tomorrow or today on twitch.tv forward slash techdown, which by the way, is in the pinned comment in the description. I'm, I'm very happy uh, how even though counting six people have come at me so far and I've responded to none on YouTube, uh, which I'm very happy about, regardless of how many people have come at me, uh, I think I've kept my YouTube pretty clean. I'm hoping to show people that I really don't feel like starting a drama at all. I will admit I am going to make a video addressing another channel called Fextra Life because I feel like awareness needs to be brought about why do not watch that channel. I'm going to make a whole video on that later because I know a lot of MMO people know why that channel is very scummy, but I don't feel that Gotcha Frogs know about that channel or that company. It's not really, it's, it's, it's more like a corporation. Anyways, they're like a very avid uh, view and better and view botter. And I just want to bring awareness to that because it can kind of kill categories. And I do genuinely believe that they're, their presence is one of the reasons why the Honkai Star Rail community uh, Twitch streams aren't as doing as good as they should. Uh, but I'll talk about how that channel is a category ca uh, killer later. That is not drama. You can consider it as drama if you like, but that's just literally bringing awareness to a very abundant issue and a, uh, a blatant abuse of power and loophole of rules on Twitch. And I'm going to talk about that later. I'm, I'm very happy with how the community's been. There's been no toxicity. Uh, there's been no content creators going at each other's throats. I'm also proud of myself for not giving in to content creators trying to get me to respond. So I'm very happy about that. And yeah, yeah. There's been no death threats to the VAs. The VAs have been nothing but sweet. The story's been nothing but good. The game's been great. And uh, I would also like to say another quick little shout out. MTash, who I respect a lot, has been doing uh, some D4 content. And I just want to say thank you to you guys for supporting his channel because it's doing great right now covering D4. And I feel like that's very good for his mental health and uh, being able to support your favorite content creators regardless of the avenues of which they're doing. Like whenever I react to a variety video or whenever I cover a different game, I just want to let you guys know from the bottom of our hearts, it does mean the world. It makes us feel a lot less trapped. So thank you for allowing the React content. Thank you for allowing me talking about Wuthering Waves, uh, Diablo 4, all this, that, and the fourth. Just thank you guys. I feel like the community has been so great, so supportive, and I just feel happy. I just feel good, and I'm so happy covering this game, and uh, I do foresee myself covering this game for uh, a long, long time. I might be trying Genshin Impact very soon because I've been told the Spiral Abyss is very hard and then people are saying that's what I'm looking for in the game. So I am going to try Genshin Impact very soon, earlier than 4.0 than I uh, expected. I'm going to see how it go. 
Wells. I'll make a video on how that goes whenever I try it. And as well as, uh, yeah, I will be trying Genshin Effect again on 4.0 on its release. Looking forward to Zenless Zone Zero. Looking forward to Weathering Waves. Looking forward to the Seven Deadly Sins game. Looking forward to Blue Protocol. There's a lot of cool things for me to cover on my channel. Thank you guys for giving me the opportunity to be your content creator. I really hope that I make you guys proud. I really hope that you enjoy my content. And uh, I just... I don't know. I'm just very grateful, very humble. And uh, I've come over a lot of hardships recently. I actually almost died about two days ago. And I'm just feeling very thankful for life because I made it out of a near-death situation. And uh, it's really making me take every second of life, you know, and, and, and appreciating it. Uh, so thank you for getting me through that. Thanks for being here on my stream. And uh, I really hope you guys enjoy the content. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks for being cool. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. See you on the next one. And uh, thanks for liking, commenting, subscribing to my YouTube channel. And I hope that you'll follow me on Twitch and uh, say yo sometime. See you all for 1.1. I hope it's a great launch. And I'll see you guys very soon. Bye-bye.